Hi guys, Andy here again and in this lesson we're covering basically how to tap your foot to the beat while you're playing guitar. Now that might not sound like the most exciting lesson in the world but it's so crucial for absolute beginners and this lesson is at level two of my free beginners course available at andyguitar.co.uk. So at the previous level we covered how to strum on the beat counting one, two, three, four with the chords E and A. At this level we're going to be doing some strumming patterns that are more complicated than that. So we basically get, need to get this count out of your head and into your feet. So especially if you've you know, tried a few songs and you tried maybe some of the recommended chord sequences in my beginner's course and you're habitually counting one, two, three, four every time that's basically the way that you have to start and we have to do that when we first learn a song maybe to, to make sure that we're playing it right but as soon as possible you want to not count in your head and the best way that we can get the coordination to do that and still do everything right is by tapping your foot so ideally we want to be tapping our um, opposite foot to the strumming hand so if I strum right handed I would tap my left foot and we want to always just tap the count of one two, three, four. I think you can see my knee kind of going ahead there. I always tap at the bottom of the beat, so I kind of hit the floor on the beat. And that goes perfectly in sync with your strumming hand if we're just doing on the beat strumming. So I'm just picking an E major chord here as an example, the first chord that I'll teach you in this beginner's course. And for example, we go one, two, three, four, probably tapping your heel on the floor or tapping your toes. But the important thing is, your foot will only ever count that pulse on the beat. So if we're going to do any more complex strumming, such as eight strums, one and two and three and four, a down, in a down and up fashion, which is what we introduce at this level, your foot needs to still just tap on that count of one, two, three, four, but our strumming hand goes one and two and three and four and and to make sure that you're doing it right for example your hand should be going with your foot and if you are nodding your head everything kind of goes up and down together okay so let's just have a go at doing this on the beat first of all and let's go for our new d chord d major where we just want to be strumming the thinnest four strings strumming from that d string and we're just going to go one, two, three, four to begin with, just to get this foot tapping all working. Let's give it a go. In three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Now let's do that without counting and just tapping our foot. Keep it going. Keep that foot tapping and let's pause there. Now while you're doing that, you still want to be thinking and aware of where that first beat of the bar is and, and where you are in, in that bar of four. So you're still kind of thinking, one, four, first beat of the bar, first beat of the bar. So that if I had, say, a bar of D and then a bar of A, we could still go strong, two, three, four, and then change, but now I'm not counting at all. You can tell that because I'm talking to you and I'm still doing it correct. And therefore, this is basically what the pros do. So if you go and see a rock gig and see your favorite band play live and they're there singing along, do you think the singer is playing guitar and counting one, two, three, four for every song? Not a chance. He's instinctively feeling where that beat is. And I think it's important to remember when we're kind of training you to, to play guitar and you're starting off in your, your guitar learning journey, yeah, we're training your fingers, but we're also we're creating new nerve endings from your, from your mind into your fingers, okay? And if we can send th those messages from your head to your fingers and to your feet, 
you're really going to internalize this stuff and it's just going to become easy. Now, a lot of you may have just tried that and gone, oh, lie me, Andy, you know, I'm trying to strum away with my fingers, remember where my, I am in my chord sheet, and you wanted me to tap my foot as well, you know, why don't I just stand on one hand while I'm at it and do a headstand while I'm playing? But we're trying to get the count out of your head. And a great way to do this as well is just, especially if you're new to music in general, you haven't played any musical instruments before, tap your feet to any song you hear ever, at least for the next few months. Whenever you're kind of driving the car, or you're passenger in the car, or however you listen to music, whether it's at work or even better at live gigs, get used to tapping your feet or tapping your hands, actually physically feeling where that pulse is. If you count one, two, three, four, you know, over real songs, that's great as well. But it's also best to just feel the pulse underneath any, any type of music that you hear at all, be it a song that you like or a song that you don't. Just try and feel where that pulse is, and that will really bring on your guitar playing. But the acid test of this is can we keep your foot tapping and then do either of the two strumming patterns that we've introduced at this level, which are both of your eighth strumming patterns. So the first one is downs and ups, one and two and three and four and. And we're just gonna keep this going on the D chord. And on every down strum, that's when you tap. So you might be tempted to tap, 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 and your foot's gonna be tapping all over the place, okay? It's not the way we do it, we want to go for, tap your foot, tap, tap, tap while your hand's doing this okay so it's, it's just a quick test for you at least and at least then when you're having a go at songs you know whether this is something you can have a go at okay so let's go for your d chord now play along to me and remember once we've started try not to count just tap your foot two in three and four and one and we're tapping our foot one one, one, so I'm just saying that first beat of the bar, one, 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 one. and every time my foot is just keeping that pattern and my hand is just doing this. If it's really complex for you, great idea, just put your fingers lightly across your strings so that we get this sort of hard sound. Remember, we don't want this, we just want to lightly touch your strings, so don't press on the fretboard, just touch the strings. And then we can hear what this hand is doing. And if it's really not working for you, look at it. Look at your foot and make sure it's going down at this time, right? You'll see my knee kind of bobbing up and down a little bit. One, two, three, four. And then just try not to count. Just try and let it all happen. You can have a go at it faster, but at whatever speed you do it at, you've got to keep it going for that speed for that entire section. And the other strumming pattern we've gone for at this level is eights all downs, which is appropriate for slower tempos. So that down and ups, that's best for faster tempos. But a faster tempo of song doesn't mean more strumming. More strumming might happen on the slower songs, which is kind of what we're showing here. So for a slower count, one, two, that's my foot tapping. One, two, three, four. We go for one and two, and everything happens on a down strum. Gives it a bit more of a kick, and then we can do more strums in between those later on. So just as a demo of this, we'd start off with one and two and three and four, and my foot's going tap, 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 like my head is, my foot is doing exactly what my head's doing right now, okay? And then have a go at that with an A chord. Trying not to count, and we're putting the count into your foot. You're feeling the beat rather than counting it. Just keep it going on that A chord. Tap, 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 tap. Okay? And as I say, if that's the first time you've ever done it, it will probably be a bit of an eye-opener as to why maybe some things that you've tried in the past haven't been working. And um, hopefully that kind of helps you guys out. As I say, the other thing to take away from this is, especially if you're new to music in general, 
tap your foot or tap your hand or nod your head to every piece of music you ever hear for a little bit for the next few weeks or so and see how that helps you hopefully that'll bring your strumming patterns on and whatnot and uh, try that same exercise with some of the recommended chord sequences that we've got at the end of this section so i'll see you there in a later video if you want to know more about this free beginners course do check out andyguitar.co.uk please subscribe if you like what i do and i will see you later bye for now